The mother of the accused Hartford Mall shooter is denied bail. Alexa Ashwell live outside the Hartford County District Courthouse in Bel Air, where the mother and a second woman, also facing charges in this case, appeared in court today. Alexa. Yes, Mary, this judge says she chose to deny the mother bond because her son, Wesley Lyons Jr., remains on the run, but also because investigators say she, in fact, lied to police. No bail for the mother of accused Harford Mall shooter Wesley Lyons Jr., the 35 year old, on the run as his mother, Lisa Gregg, and another woman, Latia Green, appeared in Harford County District Court for their bond hearings by video. Both are facing three felony accessory charges. Investigators say after the shooting, the woman played a significant role in concealing and secreting Lyons at an unknown location, allowing him to also conceal and destroy evidence. Newly obtained court documents shedding new light on what investigators say led up to the shooting inside the mall's Harford Bounce Party place last Sunday afternoon. According to the court record, Greg, Lyons' mother, got into a physical fight with another woman and that Lyons later pulled out a gun and opened fire, shooting a man three times, twice in the leg and once in the hand. The document goes on to say Greg, Lyons and Green who is a former corrections officer, then fled the scene in Greg's Jeep. Fox 45 News was there as police later located that Jeep and the two women about eight miles away at Lyons listed address in Edgewood, but not Lyons. It was during this time investigators say Greg gave police a fake home address and that the address was actually where a police officer resided. In court, the judge bringing up this lie, detailing she believed Greg was a flight risk and danger to the community. As for Green, the 37-year-old was granted $5,000 bond and private home detention. Meanwhile, the search for Lyons intensifying. The 35-year-old believed to be armed and dangerous. His criminal history spanning nearly two decades with time served for drug and an armed robbery convictions. According to Bel Air Police, the Harford County Sheriff's Office warrant unit comprised of deputies and a U.S. Marshal now leading the search and a $2,000 reward for information leading to his capture on the table. Investigators say Lyons has ties to both Harford and Baltimore counties as well as Delaware. I asked so far no sightings have been reported. Anyone with any information concerning Lyons whereabouts is asked to call police. And Alexa, are we learning anything new today about the victim? We know he was medevac to shock trauma when it happened. Yes, Mary, you are correct. And you may recall investigators specified that Lyons and the victim are known to one another. At last check, the victim remains hospitalized in Baltimore. And Mary, because he survived this shooting in court today, the assistant district attorney specified that these charges the two women are facing will likely have to be amended to accessory after the fact attempted murder one and two rather than murder. Both women are scheduled for preliminary hearings July 2nd. Reporting live in Harford County, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.